is on its own on the launch pad. Two minutes from launch. Ninety seconds until launch. Inside one minute until launch, everything proceeding on track. A short time from now, we'll see the first of those two umbilical structures buttressed up against the Soyuz rocket, uh, retracting. The uh, Soyuz is now on internal power, as is the progress. There goes the uh, first umbilical. The ground propellant feed has now been terminated. Everything is on track. The auto sequence has been initiated. Standing by for the initiation of the engine start. The second umbilical has been retracted. We have main engine start. Engines coming up to turbo speed. All engines at flight speed. And liftoff. We have liftoff of the 65th Progress Resupply Vehicle beginning a two-day journey to the International Space Station. engines uh, performing nominally a good roll pitch and yaw program reported from the blockhouse at Baikonur good control of the vehicle good vehicle stabilization reported the Soyuz delivering 100 ton, 102 tons of thrust from its first stage engine, disappearing into a cloud bank. All vehicle parameters reported performing perfectly. One minute, 15 seconds into the flight. Everything continues uh, to perform nominally on the first stage performance of the uh, Soyuz booster with the Progress 65 cargo craft uh, encased in the upper stage of the uh, Soyuz. We're coming up on uh, solid uh, booster separation and first stage shutdown. And we have confirmation of the separation of the first stage of the uh, Soyuz booster right on time. The uh, Soyuz booster and the Progress Resupply Vehicle, 30 miles in altitude, 73 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, traveling at 4,000 miles an hour. Two minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. The second stage engine up and running in good shape. All parameters reported to be functioning normally.
and we've had shroud jettison. So the progress uh, now exposed as it continues its trek uphill to its preliminary orbit. We're at the three minute mark into the flight. Good vehicle stabilization reported. The uh, Soyuz booster tracking in perfect shape. All control system parameters are normal, reported by the blockhouse in Baikonur. And the second stage engine continues uh, to fire in nominal fashion. Good control of the vehicle with five minutes of powered flight remaining. The uh, second stage engine prov providing 96 tons of thrust as it continues uh, to move right down the pike towards its preliminary orbit and spacecraft separation of the Progress Resupply Vehicle. Four and a half minutes into the flight. We're coming up on uh, second stage engine shutdown and second stage separation. We've had second stage shutdown and separation, aft skirt uh, separation, and the third stage is up and running. Third stage engine up and running. The uh, third stage providing about 30 tons of thrust uh, to complete uh, the Progress's climb to orbit uh, will fire for just under four minutes uh, to place the Progress into its preliminary orbit. Coming up on the five and a half minute mark into the flight, everything proceeding on track. The uh, third stage engine continues to fire as advertised. No issues reported. Launch occurred on time at 8.51 and 52 seconds a.m. Central Time, 8.51 and 52 seconds p.m. at the launch site of the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Six minutes into the flight, two minutes and 46 seconds of powered flight remaining. Coming up on the seven minute mark into the flight, the third stage engine continues uh, to perform uh, in superb fashion. No issues reported uh, as uh, we head into the final one minute and 46 seconds of powered flight. Raw, uh, the roll pitch and yaw of the uh, Soyuz booster and its associated progress uh, resupply craft all reported to be in nominal fashion. Flight controllers of the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov standing by to take over uh, the rest of the flight of the Progress vehicle following third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation.
coming up on the eight and a half minute mark into the flight. Uh, just a few seconds left before third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. This is Mission Control Houston. You're looking at a view of the uh, Russian flight control room at the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov outside Moscow. Uh, telemetry was a bit ratty uh, toward the end of the uh, third stage performance of the Soyuz booster, so we're standing by for further confirmation.